Ladies and gentlemen, let's read game into a video. Let us discuss coding to the metal as well as other APIs. So, I think it's fair to say that APIs have been in the news a lot recently, whether it's maybe a little bit of the falling out and disfavor of OpenGL, the release of AMD's mantle and the various excitement it brings, the PlayStation and X Xbox One's own respective APIs and so on. There's been a lot of information regarding this. However, there's been a recent series of comments from um, ICE team members, AMD, uh, even Electronic Arts and some other uh, key industry figures. And some of these are really, really enlightening. I've done this as an article and I'd encourage you to check it out because there are a lot of links here that I've added and I feel that there's a lot more information on this that I'm poss possibly missing. I honestly wasn't even going to record this video um, but then I kind of just got very interested in this um, from some of the research that I've been doing and I'm definitely going to be following it up in the next couple of days. So. I've done the article so you can follow the links if you so desire and I'd encourage you to do so because it leads to some interesting questions. Anyway, um, so you might remember that yesterday I released a video and in the article for that I've linked his blog post in this article anyway so you don't need to go back retrospectively. But there was a very interesting little excerpt Now I'll read that out in just a moment but Court said and I quote Many thanks for for acknowledging libgcm. I was getting tired of uh, basically people basically failing to mention that part. Now, this is very interesting because Graham Sellers from AMD said we can't see libgcm or GNM and I can't point to it and say, hey, like this. I would if I could, but I've never seen it. Now, this is where it starts to get a bit complicated pretty fast. So. I'm going to give you guys a quick crash course here. Hopefully I'm coherent with how tired I am, but anyway, um, I've written it down in case I start jabbering. Back in the PlayStation 3 era, there were two AP there was a couple of different APIs available, right? Um, the first was libgcm, not gcn, gcm, um, so golf canary mother. So this API was a low-level API and there was also an additional API, a higher-level API known as PSGL, but developers started to prefer using libgcm. Now we'll get to that in just a moment why that is, but I'm trying to get us all on the same page. The PS4 meanwhile has two APIs. For clarification, the first is GNM. This is a low-level API, very low-level, right? So basically you're programming pretty much directly to the GPU. The second is known as GNMX. Now GNMX is like a DirectX 12, uh, sorry, DirectX 11 type of uh, API. It's high-level, in other words. It's not optimized, but it's there to pretty much give you a foot in the door if you're developing a title that doesn't require super amounts of power or you're just basically mocking up a game. We discussed this a lot yesterday in both my blog post and in the video. So what was added here is Court then responds, for the record, I'm not saying that GCM slash GNM are perfect or the other APIs are ripoffs. I see a lot of great ideas out there. He also added a bunch of other stuff that I've linked, but most of it isn't super important to this discussion. So you might remember I mentioned the blog post. Now we're coming back to this because I wanted to lay the groundwork. There's quite a lot of moving parts to this, hence the reason I did articles and tons of links. Um, but there was a blog entry by developer Aris uh, Prink Avicius. I honestly can't pronounce the poor man's name. I'm sorry, I just butchered it horribly. But anyway, I've relinked it. And he discussed the pros and cons of OpenGL. Those of you who followed this link yesterday might have noticed this little paragraph. It's a key part. And I actually missed this. I'll just be totally honest. I, I blindly missed this. I'll just ha hold my hands up. I only just spotted it today. Um, and it said... And I quote, I'm actually quite happy with Mantle and the upcoming DX12 has caused quite a stir of discussions. But to be fair, 
The PS3's Lib GCM was probably the first modern to the Metal API, but everyone who knows anything about it can't say it. And once things shake up, we'll be left with the better world of graphics APIs. Maybe that will be the world with two non-console APIs. Who knows? In any case, competition is good. Now, if like myself, out of quote, if like myself, you were like a fiend for any bit of PlayStation 4 slash Xbox One information, you might have recalled that there were rumours concerning AMD saying, hey, um to both Microsoft and Sony. Hey, we're working on this API uh, with you guys. Would you like to kind of help out? And there's rumors that they kind of did a bit of collaboration. Now, I'm sure if I was to ask AMD, and I do have a slight relationship with them, but they probably wouldn't confirm or deny the rumors. So there's not even a point in me asking. But some industry figures say that it went quite deep. Others say that they were inspired by it. Others say that it had nothing do with it and so unless you're going to somehow go through their files or do like a Vulcan mind meld you're probably never going to find out and I certainly don't want to be uh, saying well I have inside information or whatever I, I don't honestly know they're just a bunch of rumours that I've heard from various sources that have popped up on the internet and uh, from forums it has appeared and you know the regular industry insiders have all whispered this stuff but none of them has given concrete information so I honestly don't know and I can't report something that I don't know I can just give theories you could do your own research and I'd really if you could find something on this I'd really appreciate you letting me know because I'd, I'd really am curious um, you can reach me on facebook.com slash redgamingtech but anyway moving back Let's move backwards a couple of years. Now, that sounds a bit weird, but let's go back to April 2009. I've um, found, just by accident, actually, I found this post. Um, I don't know how I even got this on uh, Google, but I was actually trying to find um, information on libgcm, and I accidentally come across this. It was linked through a forum that was linked to this. So, this was from a Electronic Arts Senior Research Scientist. His name is Jim Hedge, and he said, and I quote, On Xbox 360, CPU CMDs, that's commands to the GPU, do have a cost. In fact, he emphasized the word do by uh, minus do minus. Issue is API, 100% fixable with API refactor. No HW hardware flash needed. A blog with instructions coming. Now, in a conversation with Ivan Asen Ivanovin, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, he's a technical director at um, again, another game studio. This, he said, and I quote, I wrote an API for direct control of the GPU ring. Manual pocket packet, I'm sorry, submissions. Proves low slash no CPU cost. Cert would hate it. And then um, Ivan's contribution said, uh, sounds good, but needs to be done by Microsoft, right? Let's hope they do something like that for some late cycle graphics boost. So what does this mean? Well, you might remember that Mantle itself has been pointed to one of the biggest benefits being lack of CPU overhead when draw calls are being issued, and the same thing for DX12. Well, remember the Xbox 360 was based on DirectX 9, right? There were some changes obviously made just as DirectX 11 was tailored towards the Xbox One. I'm actually being surprisingly coherent considering how tired I am. I think I deserve a cookie here. Um, but anyway, so they basically tailored DX9 as far as what we understand, but apparently some of the low level so there wasn't so much low level optimization so what's my take home here well in my early research it would appear that sony's uh, ice team and the api itself was i don't know about sony's ice team specifically but certainly the playstation 3 was one of the first forerunners with this whole low level graphics api stuff and with the PlayStation 3, it was completely and utterly possible to control the co console's command buffers manually, right? It, it, uh, as long as you weren't using the high-level 
shader as long uh, sorry api as long as you were using the low level one the gcm uh, was it lib gcm then you're fine um and that's why a lot of developers towards the end of the console's life well you know at this point like you know midpoint of the console's life certainly was starting to switch towards lib gcm and you can actually find this information i've linked it anyway but there's a developer's wiki for uh the playstation 3 and I've linked it anyway in uh, the con in this article. It's basically all the way down. Um, you can actually see right there the various um, bits of information regarding this. And so it's it's kind of an, it, it's just a, it, I just find it a very interesting um, state of affairs. If I'm totally honest with you, uh, it's once again it's not super duper informative in terms of like oh my god I understand how the frame rate of the xbox one will improve over a certain amount of time but it does demonstrate just how much and how deeply some of the stuff actually runs into the background and just how much room there is in the future for optimization anyway guys i'm gonna have to get going because there's some more i wanted to discuss on this but honestly i'm getting to the point where i just need bed and it's pretty late here in the old uk so hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care and uh, once again if you're finding more information about this let me know i'm certainly going to be looking bye for now